There's this theory. Basically, we're living in a simulation. It's called simulation theory, where the scientists kind of made this theory that a more advanced civilization could potentially have created a simulation that we're currently living in. Which is pretty fucking frightening, if you ask me. However, the, the funny thing is that there's only one way that we could even know and even tell that we are, in fact, in a simulation. And that would be if we could observe some sort of glitch in the matrix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, this is a, a, a very, very interesting one because glitches in the matrix. How do we classify glitches in the matrix? Obviously, in the matrix, they called it deja vu. Mm -hmm. But how many times have we all just gone, you know, had that moment where you're like, it could be deja vu, like, oh, I've done this before, or it could be like, I'm sure I just did that. Like, you know, something, I just put this here, or just put that there, or like, you know, I don't know, what do you reckon? Or something isn't where you left it, or, you know, like you, or you, mm -hmm. you look at something, you turn away, and you look back, and it's different. Right. Like, I, there, yeah. there are just so many different um, ways of looking at glitches in the matrix. And I th I think it all depends on like how much you're paying attention because I'm sure they happen more often to us than not. Mm -hmm. And we're just not really paying attention yeah. to what the hell is going on around us. But they also call that quantum jumping where, mm -hmm. say – you drive down the same road for 10 years and all of a sudden, like where there was a forest, there's not anymore. And yet there was no construction doing any deforesting. And you're like, what the hell? And everyone's like, there's, there was never a forest there. Mm -hmm. That's an, a glitch in the matrix for you. Like, cause we have glitches yeah. in the matrix for us, but not every single person will yeah. experience the same thing at the same time. So these ones um, I don't know how real they are. You know, the one that we saw the other day with the, the birds stuck or the plane, yeah. the plane was stuck. There's the plane was one just, with birds. The, yeah. I the saw plane one was stuck in the sky. Yeah. I saw one. Uh, it was nothing but spiders. It was in Australia. Yes. It was nothing but spiders. Mm -hmm. That would be for me, if it's true, that would be a glitch in the matrix. Right. For everybody to witness. And yeah. I think if we're witnessing it on a mass consumption level like that, I think more and more people are starting to awake. And I think mm -hmm. more and more people start to awake, the more and more glitches actually start to happen. That's a good point. It's it, that it's observable by everyone. Yes. Like that's the glitch for in the matrix is yeah. in the simulation is that it's observable by everyone. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> I mean, the, the interesting thing, and I've, I, I always love the, the thought process and the rabbit hole or wormhole, if you will, mm -hmm. of uh, thinking about, simulations because and whether we live in one because how do you know that you live in a simulation right yeah. because you're programmed by yeah. the whoever created the simulation mm -hmm. so how do you be, how do you become aware that you're in a simulation right okay so glitch in the matrix that's that's one that's a theory i suppose but you know when we look at the, what we can do okay so what what simulations can we control and video games are the ones mm -hmm. most closely linked to that right so what mm -hmm. we can create and control do the characters in the video game know that their characters in a video game all right we would go of course not that's ridiculous so if somebody says to us oh we're definitely in a simulation i would pause if people's first reaction is to go oh that's ridiculous maybe we're just players in a video game maybe that's all we are yeah and the thing is, we we just don't know. We have no king idea what the hell is going on, how it's going on. And, you know, funny that you mentioned that video games, because I did see another something a couple of days ago. And, oh God, was it musky? It wasn't musky. Anyway, the, the guy was saying that, um, like, everything resets. So, you know how we have all these different eras like the Egyptian right. area, yep. from, like what all, all these things. And we just don't know what happened. Like where the hell did these people go? How did they get here? Like, it's, it's almost like we mm -hmm. have blocks of time, mm -hmm. time stamped, but nothing really to link it all together to see how it all happened. He said, there's resets and not the great reset that, you know, is pushed upon us, but an actual reset right. mm -hmm. that 
once you realize, like once you can't decide what is man-made and like quote unquote man-made, like the, the simulation is man-made compared mm-hmm. to life. That's, that's the, you know, the aha moment of holy crap, we figured it out. Once we figure it out, there's actually a reset and that reset could look in any way, shape or form. So our next reset, will look back on our time and they'll be doing history lessons on it. None of us will be huh. here because it's a great reset. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like, but we're getting closer and closer to actually figuring it out. More and more people are waking up. Right. You know, they they threw the pandemic at us to shut us all down. I think that it, a lot of people were starting to wake up. Like a lot of brains were yeah. starting to 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 fire, and they couldn't have that anymore. So, what's the best way to do? Well, instill fear. Well, that kind of backfired because I'm finding more and more people are starting to wake up and say, "Well, right. wait a minute, this is a." one fucking hot mess yeah like and people are actually starting to ask more questions who runs the show who's this who's that and i think i think we're getting there i think we're getting there and they said the video games is the key like once we once we create a video game that we can't tell if it's real or not that's it yeah reset boom yeah then then we're done yeah yeah well and it makes it makes a lot of sense because you know, in, uh, you know, simulations, video games, all that sort of stuff. Usually you get to a point where you finish the game. Like that's the point. Like the player finishes the game. Exactly. You get to the end and it goes, did it, did it, did it, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking dead. No. Yeah. Yeah. You did, did it. Did it, did it, But you're done. Princess you finish. Yeah. You say Princess Peach. You did it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, or Prince of Persia or like, you know, any video game really. Yeah. The idea is to get to the end. Um, so yeah, it makes sense. The the reset happens. Yeah. Start again. Yeah. Play a different game. You can increase close. the difficulty level. You know whatever, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Um. But once we can't tell the difference, and look, you know, a lot of the time, um, it's totally true. You can't tell the difference in a really lucid dream. You can't tell the difference between that and reality. And I do right. that because we don't know really which one is reality. But no. Um. You can't tell the difference between waking and sleeping. Um, in a lot of dreams. Yes. Yes. And we, we've talked about this before where I had a dream so real and so mm-hmm. lucid that in my, while I was in my dream, I kept saying, oh my God, it's so real. Oh my God. It, like, it's so real. And I woke up and mm-hmm. I was like, I will never, I, I will never know where I am again. Yeah. It, it was just so real. And, but in my dream, I knew it wasn't real because I kept telling myself like, this is so like, I, I was blown mm-hmm. away by how real it was. Yeah. I'll never, I'll never actually have a firm answer on if I'm awake or if I'm sleeping, I'll never yeah. have a firm answer mm-hmm. after that experience. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's cool, but it's strange as well. And it just Very goes to show you, I think with a lot of these things that we see and we, we talk about it's like you don't know we don't know that's all it confirms is we just don't know so much there's so much we don't, don't mm-hmm. know and understand um but yeah i mean if people have had dreams or experiences like that it'd be really interesting to know i'd love to know what glitches in the matrix people have had that would be cool. oh i would love that too that. Yeah. there's actually um a reddit there's a reddit thingy on glitches in the matrix you should go read that yeah some of the, some of the stories are just yeah, just crazy. Should definitely go check that out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are we living yeah. in a simulation? I say we definitely could be. That's what I say to finish off. That. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And what did Muskie say? He said there. Well, he said it's more than a fifty-fifty chance. Mm-hmm. Elon yeah. said more than a fifty-fifty chance. He also said that AI is going to be the death of us, and then he continues to do Neuralink. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't. I don't know, but I got some questions. But if he's a robot himself, then it would make sense to to do things like that it really would wouldn't it it would but one thing that doesn't make sense if you're a robot is why he had that haircut when he was younger i don't know well you know they were just being in you know just starting to you know it was the baby stages baby (laughs) steps no they didn't know they hadn't got it right yet fair enough yeah all right well uh that's uh, look there's so many things to say about the simulation theory, but I want to know other people's theories as well. So let us know what you think and uh, we'll see you all next time.